Hey guys, and welcome to game and number three of the series. We have now the second matchup for Orbital Drill. With me, of course, I do have Admiral Nakamoff, who's going to be co casting this game with me today. On the monster side, we do have Source TV versus the Apex team for Ninja Penguins. Currently, the series is 1 1. What do you think is going to happen in this game? I don't know. Um, if we're going from the previous games, uh, the Hunters are going to win, but I have hopes that, that Source is going to be able to turn it around with a clever play. We'll have to see what he does. Orbital Drill is one of the more open maps for monster traversal, so that'll be nice to see what he does with this much space. Uh, looks like we're probably going to see the same picks as last game based on what I heard during the pregame banter. So we'll have to see what exactly goes on. Uh, we're looking at a Abe Hyde with a Hank Kyra, as of course with the defensive composition, which worked out great for them last game. They were able to survive through most of it. So we'll have to see what they do during this game as they're going against the, the elite Kraken source, right? They were able to slay him last game, but we'll be able to do it twice. Yeah, it went pretty well. The key to, to all of these fights has really just been the support more than anything, getting those shields off on the targets that the Kraken is chasing in the dome. So and we'll see if that, that continues to be number one priority there, just shielding the right person. So we'll have to see exactly how this plays out. And Source is probably going to do the same route most monsters do on this map, which I've mentioned many times whenever we see this, is they go around to the east, eat some birds here, mammoth birds, they either go up this way and grab the dual pack of mammoth birds, or they grab the dual pack of mammoth birds here and go south to the next set of mammoth birds. Or they go bing bing, and then they have a dual fight here. Either way, you're going to get your full evolved meter done with the Kraken. As you see right now, he's going right for this spot. Oh, no mammoth bird spawn on this one yet. So he's going to go to the next spot. He's going to keep on his rotation. Yeah, and he's going to go up to the high ground and eat this one instead. As you see, the mammoth bird is now down. We see another one down there. So that's going to be... Oh, no, it's right next to the rock. Uh, it depends. Will he be able to eat it without aggroing? Yep, it looks like he's good. So yeah, this map, you see it a few times, right? We've seen it both go hunter and monster favorite. What do you like... How do you think this monster, like this map, plays towards each side? I I would say that if they weren't using the whole dome strat the way that they are, this would be a monster favorite map, just because he has that opportunity to get into that stage two even before before the hunters get within range. But since they're just waiting for him to evolve anyway, I, it doesn't really confer any advantage to either team. Yeah. You see, Toxic are actually stopping him from eating, although he does get the full Evolve Meter, so it doesn't really stop much in the grand scheme of things. So we'll have to see what they do. We see a little bit. They're just kind of staring at each other right now. Thank you, Courtney. Yeah. They're just kind of just the having a uh, truce. They're just saying, hey guys, let's have uh, some lunch, maybe some snacks. Assault's wrapping around. going to throw the Toxic Grenade. Oh, I guess he broke the truce. Yep, ceasefire comes to an end, and uh, the Kraken just starts to run. Trench warfare was going on maneuver. at its finest. Basically, yeah. You see there them you just... go, there's the tracking dart. Yeah, and they're just going to do what they can to try and keep pressure on him as he's moving along this southern border. He's going to cut this way, but they're going to cut that way, and it's just going to be, all right, assault's on flush, everyone else is going in. Oh, no, he's actually going to change it up, go right towards the middle. Going to break the meta of this match of what was signaling forward. We're doing taking some big damage to the shields on him, so I think he'll be okay. Did they yeah. just dome him here and say, now's the time, and fight him? I'd say Epex is very determined to do the hold the dome strat, so they really like to hold on to it and see what they can do with it. So at this point in time, it's probably in their best interest just to hold on to it, see what they get afterwards instead of going to a full armor Kraken. Because that gives them better chances and they're based all around the damage output. So as much as, you know, he may have gotten a little bit of damage, he, had, he needed to commit in order to get that down, which they would have been able to punish severely. If they get him down with no armor, then yeah, toss the dome. Yeah. See, right now, if you look at the survival laws, it's just getting in favor of the monster more and more as he's sitting there with high armor, getting a little bit of damage on him. Every bit of health for the hunter's counts. Oh, and here goes the evolve. Oh, no! Trapper gets grabbed. He's got to break out of that and get launched back and he gets slapped again. Half HP. Monster's actually free. If he runs now, he might be able to get out. But he's looking like it. And does he get out of the dome? And, oh my gosh, he's free. He is free. The Kraken has been released from the dome because it was never thrown. As right now, <laughs> Nightmare's in a lot of trouble as he's just getting focused down by this Kraken. He's just going to try and get what he can. Oh, he did cancel the evolve. That's why. Okay. I was wondering why. He's still stage one. That explains so much. 
He probably could have gotten that evolve off and gotten out. Maybe. It would have been tight, though. Yeah. It almost Maybe that's why they didn't throw it, it was because the evolve wasn't confirmed. Aw, oh, man. I wish this was a relay still. Like, this one right here, like, right on that high ground like that. Definitely an interesting. I think he's just taunting with the uh, evolve. Is he going to go for it, though? Oh, confirmed. Evolve. Wow, that dome is thrown early, actually. Yeah, can be looking for the damage in. Toxic grenade getting tossed. We got Nightmare in the front shooting him in the face. We got a little bit of burn damage. Three point aftershock. We see a dive bomb cracking. We see a double connect on the assault. Gonna be looking for more damage and evolve. I'm oh, sorry, Nightmare is actually gonna be taking a lot of damage. Dang, that name screws with me. So we're gonna be seeing more Banshee Mines getting tossed, trying to get as much as he can for focusing. Not able to get much though. He's gonna be looking for Warden because he needs out of this dome. We got an, actually a low health broke line of sight though with the Vortex getting the aftershock. Does connect with the shields in play to keep him alive on both the assault and the trapper. Assault's gonna be going down though as soon as that vortex, uh, sorry, as soon as the shield is out, because it is a timed event. Gonna be looking at a very, very hurt assault. Getting the triple aftershock. Gonna be getting that slap of the base going on. Vortex going in, forcing down the support down the really low health. Getting that mega hit. Going for more and more damage. Orbital barrage coming in. Gonna be forcing the support out into the open. He's gonna be going for the aftershock. Does he connect with it? Yes, he does. Down go the support. Supports in a lot of pain. As you see, more and more banshee mines getting tossed out. Vortex connects with War Doom. Wardoom's gonna get slapped in the face. He's just gonna leave and say, I'll take that down on the support. That's that's fine. I'll just walk away from this. I got a you know, good amount of health. That's all right with me. As he's gonna eat yep. this bird and then get a little bit of armor so he doesn't get poked anymore. Went well for him. And uh, despite the good shielding. But congrats to the trades. That's not half bad. He at least got a strike for it so it wasn't wasted time. So in, in regards to that scenario and how he got domed with no armor, that's not all that bad. He was able to pull that off and get that good to go. Yeah, he did take quite a bit of health damage, but the hunter's uh, kind of falling back a bit. He's a little concerned about the, the support there, and yep. those aftershocks really paid off for him. Well, that triple aftershock was just so devastating that he was able to connect with not one, not two, but three people. As he was just able to yeah. rock that health pool. As he is now full armor. Yeah, without that aftershock, he might not have uh, succeeded in that zone. He might have actually had a little more trouble with the support still up. Yeah, as you see, he's just trying to build his evolve meter now and just get his space. And he's going to bait them over by the Armadon, so the Armadon's going to slow them down a little bit. He did actually hit it with one auto, which pissed it off, so that's why you saw it charging up like that. As you see, he's just going to get some more one meets. Uh, War Doom actually is on the pursuit, so he's just trying to keep an eye of sight on where he's going so that way they know approximately where he is. They do have the tracking dart, but that can only help so much in regards to predicting positions. Yeah. It doesn't tell you, if is he left leaning, right leaning? Is he going to go left or is he going to go right? Like, you have to know these things in order to predict exactly where he's going, because sure, you might cut one way, but he can just, you know, smell you and know that you went the other way. As Ooh. you see right now, he is actually going north, so... Yeah, it's only really nicely with the Banshee Mines, so... Trapper walks around a corner and gets a Banshee Mine right to the face. Yeah, I mean, he is full armor, but he is just still working on that Evolve meter, getting what he can. If you see a Mammoth Bird there, yeah, and he just slaps it before it gives him a little strike. Gives him a shocking situation. You see, Banshee Mines are actually in effect, uh, just slowing them down a little bit as they are hot on pursuit. We see a Cloak going out on them, although the, he knows they're there. There's no way he doesn't. They just shot him, so he, he knows they're there. They're cloaked right now, he doesn't know where they are, but he knows they're around. So I think this is might be just a wasted Cloak. Yeah, and Wardoom actually stepped out of the cloak there for a minute. As he's just kind of turning around, smelling. As he heard the little, like, sound, that's him smelling. So. Yeah. Just smelling around, seeing what he can get. And yeah, we see another smell there. Just wants to know exactly how far away they are and where to aim his Banshee Mines. As he threw them backwards, letting Wardoom tank that up a little bit. Through a Vortex. He's just outside smell range now after all the stamina got burned. So we're going to have to see what he does. It looks like he's actually ready to engage here, but he's... Oh, no, I think he's taunting with the evolve. Yeah, and off he goes. There's no way he yeah, was going to evolve I, in that location. Yeah, it wouldn't make any sense for him to do that. Yeah. So, right now we do see with the terrain, they, he was able to use that to get a 2-2 split with the Trapper and Assault together with Medic and Support together as well. So the Kyra Hank are able to protect themselves while Trapper and Assault are just able to deal damage. So at this point, do you think Source is going to learn a lesson from the first game there and uh, fight them with full armor, or is he going to try to evolve again, get that stage through? I don't through? know. He's, in, like, he's trying to gain some distance right now, and he's slowly gaining space, but when he stops to do these evolves, that's when he's losing it. 
So who knows? And he right now, yep, oh, I see what he did there. He, uh, right now, if you look up, you can actually see a little bit of overhang. So if Hank oh, yeah. calls down the orbital, it's actually deceptive that he actually is in under a roof. So, although he doesn't throw down the orbital, so he holds it down. Lightning strike is actually got. So we got three point lightning strike going to be tossed in. See it going for the connection on Wardium. Does it connect? No, it doesn't. Go, it connects on the support instead. Going to be going out for the dive bomb after shock. Does it connect? Yes, it oh. does. Support goes down nice and quick. So we have a Kraken that's super low going against an entire team that's right now without their support. Support's actually just got brought back up. We're going to see a lightning strike going in for the connect. Does it connect? And yes, it does. Bugsy gets rocked with a lightning strike. Struck him down from the heavens. We're going to be looking at another Vortex Banshee mine coming in. Going to be getting those toss, trying to keep them away while he keep, gets some of his armor and health. But there's nothing to eat, nothing to hide. He's in a lot of hurt right now. As we see right now, Wardims is shooting down those Banshee Mines as he's throwing them out because he doesn't want them holding back his team anymore. He wants to be able to go in and harass him. Yep, Wardim goes in for the headshot and gets the kill. Kill confirmed. Hunters win game number three. All right, so that puts it at 2-1. Hunters winning again. Do you think that's going to continue for the rest of the series? I think both these Hunter teams are well experienced, and both these monsters are very strong monsters, but Good game, guys. right now the Hunters are definitely with Good a game. higher win ratio GG. than the monsters, and the, both these teams are making that evident. Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious that the Hunters are, are playing very well against the Monsters. So, with that in mind, guys, we're going to go back into game number four. We'll be back in just a moment as the lobby is just getting set up, and we'll be good to go.